everyone i am acc disha chauhan and i'm today going to be sharing with you how to stay on track during your acc exam preparation so if you're interested in knowing that keep on watching this video so the first thing is that you need to do if you want to stay on track is of course have a study plan or a schedule ready yes you need to have a schedule and you need to follow that now you can make the schedule as per your routine whatever suits you whatever fits you right if you like to get up early in the morning and study do that if you like to study late till night do that so i'm not asking you that you know one should just get up in the morning at 5 am or 4 am and study i myself when i was studying for accs i preferred studying till late at night right so whatever suits you you do that i will always suggest this but make sure you're following your schedule make sure if you say that on monday i'll study 2 hours you are doing that you could go overboard of course you could study 3 hours but at least you are studying 2 hours right and if some day you are not able to do that you cover up in the coming days then apart from of course having a schedule and a routine as per your wish that of course fits you or suits you second important thing if you want to stay on track is taking breaks now staying on track can be really challenging because there are so many distractions and of course we all love procrastination right so that's why taking breaks in between will keep you motivated and you will not feel that stress i will always suggest rather than that taking a break like oh i'll just be on my phone check out social media see some instagram reels take a break which involves a little bit of activity a little bit of movement sometimes if you have let's study for 1 hour or 1.5 or 2 3 hours continuously if you could do that great and you take a longer break like 30 or 40 minutes instead of just lying down and scrolling through your phone you know go for a walk if you love to exercise do yoga that would be great but if you don't do all of that that's also fine just go for a simple walk no need to even wear your sport shoes i would say just go for a normal walk and maybe listen to some music you know you will be really once you do that let's say for 30 minutes you listen to your favorite music and you go for a walk you will really feel fresh rather than if you were just lying down and going through some instagram reels or any other social media because from one screen or because these days we are studying on our laptops right so on one screen or books you are switching on to another screen you're not really giving your eyes rest so that's why go on a walk or just take a tea break sit with your parents friends family whoever for 30 40 minutes chat with them so do something like that instead of just being on your phone right third thing is of course avoid distraction whether it's tv whether it's your netflix or social media avoid distractions as much as possible especially days before your exam i will definitely suggest you know do not waste time on those uh, reels and instagram of course it's fine if you dedicate that okay daily 10 minutes or 20 minutes i'll do instagram and facebook and whatever that's fine but make sure you're doing that what happens is we think oh i'll sit for 5 minutes on instagram and if you keep scrolling and you realize oh 20 minutes have gone so it's very important that you are keeping at least a timer on that okay well, i only use social media for 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day or even if i'm using social media i'll watch important things or things which could really you know help me like maybe you could follow us on social media on fintram global on instagram post important content on youtube we post you know such videos which could really help you out so if you're watching something like this that's fine but don't waste time on unnecessary things and you know you can do that for 10 minutes or so but don't waste like 30 minutes or an hour on doing just all of that so avoid distractions as much as possible another thing that you could do to stay on track is of course i would say rewarding yourself yes whenever you achieve your goals definitely reward yourself for example you know when you have a study plan or study schedule i always say have daily goals and weekly goals let's say you had a weekly goal that by this week i'll complete four chapters along with its revision and questions or maybe i'll complete two chapters whatever your goal was if you achieve that goal then you reward yourself whatever you like do you like to have ice cream have that on that like and the end of the week sunday you will be like i achieved the goal so today i'll have ice cream or i'll have a uh, pizza or i'll have whatever you like basically i'll have a brownie so you know celebrate i'll have a chocolate whatever it is you can celebrate because then you'll be motivated that okay next week if i'll complete everything you know what uh, my favorite movie is coming i will go and watch that movie and uh, of course this i'm saying 
few days like months i would say before the exam don't go for movies just before your exam because that's a lot of time that you are wasting but if you are following like if you're having the schedule and you're on track then of course once in a while you can go out for a movie of course there's no problem in that i myself has gone while you know preparing that's absolutely fine because you are following your schedule maybe one more week passed and you're closer to exam day so that that time you could celebrate by just being at home and having something that you really like and also i'll always suggest you know in order if you want to stay on track very important that you don't fall sick if you fall sick then you will anyways be behind you will not feel like studying obviously when you're sick you nobody wants to study when they are uh, having flu or fever or any other problem right so if you want to stay on track make sure you're staying healthy yes very important if you want to eat from outside also make sure you're only having from those places which you have you know eaten before and you know that nothing bad will happen don't try out a new place at least so make sure you're following all these steps and these will of course help you to stay on track avoid procrastination we tend to be like oh i'll study this topic tomorrow i don't like this oh i'll do it then tomorrow don't do that you know if you have set out a goal if it's in your study plan that you have to do it today then do it do not procrastinate i'm telling you you will end up you know procrastinating so much that it will be like your exam week is then you have still not covered it so make sure you have a study plan you track your study plan you take breaks you are rewarding yourself you are celebrating your small achievements do all of that because that way you will be able to stay on track because if you're just studying just studying like for let's say 8 hours or 8 plus hours a day and not doing any of these steps you're not taking breaks you're not celebrating your achievements then you are going to have a burnout you are going to be super stressed and then you will not be able to let's say stay on track let's say you do this for 3 weeks then after that you will be really stressed so it's important to have a balance it's important to enjoy at the same time study hard and work hard so that's why i always say have a study plan and follow that So I hope this would be helpful to you. So do subscribe to our channel for more such videos and if you found this video helpful hit that like button. All the very best whenever you are giving your next ACC exam maybe it's your June attempt. So make sure you are following these steps and you know that's why you will be able to stay on track. So I wish you all the best. This is Dishar Chauhan signing off.